So herd immunity, we are estimating, based on experience with other viruses, that for this virus, we would need to have 70 plus percent of the population to simultaneously be immune from infection, such that if the virus isn't, well, the virus will already be here, but it won't be able to spread. There won't be enough people to get infected to spread it to another folk or another person. So we think it's got to be about 70 percent. So we know that in September we're at 13.5. So in January, remember, there's going to be, they're going to retest folks from before. We'll find out if they've maintained that immunity. There's also another 420 households which we will be tested. So for that, we'll be able to find out if the 13.5 percent has gone up to or gone down, right? But it'll be really interesting to see. And then the other thing which the vaccine producers are doing is they're doing similar studies with some of the folks who get vaccinated to see how long their immunity lasts. Because if, if people become immune, but only for a short period of time, then our herd immunity is going to fluctuate with that. We've got to hit 70 percent. And so this is another reason why everybody needs to consider getting vaccinated, because if we only have a, a small percent of the population getting vaccinated, the virus is going to continue spreading. We have got to, if we want to stop wearing masks, if we want to have our businesses open, if we want to have the schools back to normal, we as a community, as a nation, as a global population, we have got to get to herd immunity. And so if that means my arm gets a little sore and I get a little fever for a couple of days, then so what? And if I have to do that once a year, so what? 